In this video, I want to show you how you can create dynamic cymbal swells and rudimental rolls using the orchestral percussion expansion library along with the core orchestral percussion MIDI. What we're going to do is go into the grooves tab and utilize some of these snare roll MIDI as a starting point for our dynamic rolls and swells. And then we will apply them to different instruments while also applying different sound design elements from Superior Drummer 3. I'm going to go into the snare rolls orchestral percussion MIDI. Once again, this is orchestral percussion 1. We'll go to 4-4, 120 BPM, and we have this crescendo short, so we're starting soft, crescendoing into an accent. We pull that down into our song track, and if we take a look at the grid editor, you can see that nice increase. Now it's not perfect, you can see these little inflections here in the MIDI velocity, it's because it's actually been played, so you get the human element as well. Now of course, this is already applied to the snare drum. Let me show you a few quick tricks just to get the smoothest and most realistic rolls possible. The first thing we can do is go to the drums tab, I'm going to scroll down to my smoothing, and we can use this to smooth out fast repeating notes, which is what you would have in a roll. So you can adjust this dial to get an even smoother roll sound when utilizing these kinds of rudiments. I'm gonna loop my roll here. I'm gonna turn it all the way down and then we'll increase it and see how that sounds. And let me actually shorten this just so we have a little bit of a quicker loop. And right there, you can hear when I really maximize the smoothing, you hear the difference. Let me turn it all the way off and turn it back on. Now, depending on the drum selected and what you're going for, you can adjust the smoothing as needed. Speaking of drums, let's go down to the Black Beauty. I think this one sounds great. So some snares are going to really work well for single specific accented notes, while others, the characteristic of the sound, work very well for rolls. I think the Ludwig Black Beauty is one of those that work very well for rolls. Let's take a listen. I'm going to turn the smoothing all the way off, and then I'll turn it all the way on. So that's one way to smooth out the roll. Don't forget, we can make sure we're using all of the sample layers by going to layer limits and pulling these all the way down. We're essentially loading all the layer limits and I'm gonna turn off the polyphony, which is the voice limit as well, so that we're utilizing every single velocity we can and no notes are getting cut off depending on how many are still ringing, which is basically what polyphony is. We're gonna do this for each and every instrument. Now let's take this and apply it to a different instrument. Let's apply this to a cymbal. Let's go into the grid editor and we have our MIDI. I'm gonna select it all. I haven't changed anything with the velocities and I'm not going to. All we're gonna do is move this down to a cymbal. There's a number of ways you can remap it, but we'll just drag this down. So now this is playing on this first cymbal. Already a really nice cymbal roll sound. Now, let's do the same thing that we did before. I want to make sure layer limits are turned off, voice limit is turned off. Smoothing we can utilize too, on or off. So you really can hear that difference. You can kind of hear the individual notes when the smoothing is lower, but it really smooths things out when the smoothing is turned up. Now, depending on your tool selection, this is helpful too. If you're using sticks, you're gonna hear more of that articulation, more of that attack. So smoothing might be helpful to do. Whereas if you're using mallets, the attack's gonna be subdued. You might not need as much smoothing. In fact, let's go ahead and use the mallets. Let's listen to that difference. So exactly like I said, no smoothing at all, but because we're using mallets, we have a nice smooth roll, but we can still utilize smoothing if we want. A 
while we're on the subject of cymbals and because I love this addition to the orchestral percussion library, let's go to the Tam Tam. Go into the grid editor, select everything, and we'll just move it down. Already sounds great. Again, let's make our layer limit and voice limit changes so they're unlimited. And again, we can use smoothing as needed. Now right there, with smoothing turned all the way off, you hear more of that articulation. It's a soft mallet that we're using, soft beater, but you can hear that attack when we turn smoothing down or all the way off. That may be preferable for your productions depending on what you need, but if we turn it all the way up, we'll have a nice smooth roll on the Tam Tam as well. Finally, let's apply this to a tonal instrument like a timpani. So we'll grab all of this, move it up to timpani 2. And again, I haven't changed the MIDI velocity at all. Let's take a listen as is. Sounds great. Let's make our layer limit adjustments. And let's listen to smoothing basically off and on so you hear that difference. Really hear the attack of the sticks there. We'll smooth it out. And of course we can go somewhere in between. Now with the timpani, we have different tools. We're using a hard beater right now, so a medium beater will have less attack. We're using G1, so we wanna make sure we use the same note. Let's load that, turn the smoothing off, and then back on so we can hear that difference. I like that more subdued sound of the beater. Again, we can completely turn smoothing on. And at the very end there, we lose a little bit of that attack on that last accented note. So it's a give and take depending on what you want to do, but look at all this leverage you have with the smoothing tool. Let's finally go to the soft beater and take a listen to that. Like you mentioned with the Tam Tam, the soft beater is going to have less attack, so lower smoothing levels will work well and sounds great. But again, we can completely turn on smoothing and get a nice smooth timpani roll. Now, one more thing we can do with all of these ideas in mind, let's go back to the rudimental section, the snare rolls, and I want just an even plain roll here. We'll bring this down into the song track. And this is a seamless loop. This is great. If I start at the end and loop it, you won't really hear the end and starting point. You can look at it in the grid editor. It's a nice lower velocity roll. So let's use this to our advantage once again. All of the adjustments apply. We have the Black Beauty still loaded and I have my layer limits already set. I can adjust smoothing as needed, but let's actually go back into the grid editor and let's split it right in the middle. Option command on a Mac and with everything selected, let's increase the velocity, not all the way, but a fair amount. And then we'll go to each half very quickly lower, we'll really lower it at the end there. So we have a nice swell from low to high back to low. Now let's just take that same MIDI, select all of it, drag it to some different instruments again. Symbol, again, we still have all of our layer limits intact. And I'm gonna go back to the sticks so you can hear that articulation difference. I'm even gonna make one more change listening to that symbol. The second half, I'm gonna really bring this dynamic range down. And I'm actually gonna leave the bottom portion the same. I really want it to come down right after this swell here. And then I can even the rest of it kind of match it with this other selection here. So you can see we can really make these ramps as customized as we want.
I just like that gets out of the way a little sooner. And very quickly here, let's just move that to the Tam Tam and then the Timpani. Finally, the timpani, and let's turn back on the hard beater. Those are a few ways you can get some really nice rolls and swell instrument sounds within the orchestral percussion library using the Orchestral Percussion 1 MIDI, the rolls within that MIDI, and look at all of these different roll variations. So any of these can be used as a template. We're just applying it to an instrument, and then you're making sure you're loading all voice and layer limits, setting those to unlimited, setting the polyphony to unlimited, and adjusting smoothing as necessary to get the exact realistic roll or swell sound that you want, whether it's for the snare, a cymbal, tam-tam, timpani, or really any instrument within this library.